Yeah, there are just no fish. There are no fish out here. This is a fish-free lake. Good lord. Can we tell this guy that there are just no fish out here? Too bad we can't just give him regular-ass scales. See, we'll do one quick swim through here. Anybody? Any fish want to fight? No. Maybe we need to go to the exact marker. Maybe the the marker will is actually marking a fish right now. Maybe we've just been dumb as hell this whole damn time. And the marker is actually right on top of an entity. Look, we're, we might still be in the Morrowind mindset and not be realizing, hey, this marker is actually showing us exactly where a fish is. Maybe that's our damn problem. Wouldn't that be fucking dumb as hell if we had just skipped over like a gigantic nest of fish? A fish nest. All right, let's see. Let's see, how dumb are we? Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to oh, Oblivion! We're here. Jesus Christ. It's getting weirder every time, I tell you. But we're out here at the docks at the Imperial City waterfront, getting ready to turn in. Our old shit. Look, I've waited until it's nighttime, but guess what? I didn't actually wait, I just fast-traveled here, which is why, hey, we're off by a couple of hours. So we're just gonna wait out here until, you know what, old What's-His-Butt shows up and we can turn in this stolen book that we read. In between videos, I went and I, uh, did a little bit of vendoring. You know how I said, hey, maybe we'll check out doing some enchanting with all these things that we've got. Maybe, uh, grab up a few more souls. Well, it turns out that shit is expensive. Oh my gosh, getting like a Fortify Endurance is like 700 gold. Uh, getting Shielding is like, oh jeez. It's, it's, it's either like three or 400 or also 700 roughly. I don't know, expensive shit. So we're actually going to hold off on going to Kavach and doing the main quest. Bonus side effect of doing that as well is that, hey, the more we put it off, uh, that means the higher level the Oblivion Gates will be when we go to finally tackle them. Which means, hey, the Sigil Stones, we're going to get more Transcendent ones. If anything, I'm kind of tempted to just put it all off until we're able to get the highest tier Sigil Stones. But I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it turns out. We'll, we'll see about putting it off for as long as possible. Change of plans, huh? Just a big old change of plans. We may Morrowind this thing, because as you know, in, uh, if you watch Morrowind Mondays, holy crap, we really put off doing the main quest until we were high level as hell. Uh, otherwise, geez, I think it's a good time to finish up this Steve Skilled quest, and we'll finish up some other quests we have, and maybe go around to cities and do some city quests. Good plan? Great plan. All right. Armand, Kristoff, what's up? Check out fucking Methrodel here. Jeez. Look, she's wearing her sneaking shoes, too. Look, did I put mine on? All right, yeah. Whew, thank goodness I forgot. I'm not going around barefoot. Are you confused? Am I confused? Why would I be confused? Let's talk to, uh, about the test. Congratulations. You have oh. returned with the diary. You have earned the right to join the Thieves' Guild. You now owe your loyalty to our Guildmaster, the Grey Fox. He has three rules you must follow. Okay. Man. <laughs> Fucking... Can you imagine just... that? That's a pretty good greeting. Whenever someone walks up to you and they're like, Hey, you just look at them dead in the eyes and say, Are you confused? And the answer is, Yes, you probably are. Three rules. First... Never steal from another member of the guild. I already broke Second, that one. <laughs> never kill anyone on the job. This is not the Dark Brotherhood. Animals and monsters can be slain if necessary. Okay. Third, don't steal from the poor. The peasants and beggars are under the personal protection of the Grey Fox, particularly here on the waterfront. Man, Armand looks like he's had a really long night. He looks really tired, like he's barely keeping awake. Jeez, someone get this guy some, like, five-hour energy or something. Jeez. <laughs> Does that stuff work? That stuff must work, right? I've never actually taken it. I've always just, you know, done the coffee thing, huh? All right. Uh, let's see. Can we actually turn him up? He's so soft-spoken. Here. Let's try some of this going on here. Let's try... Man, voice volume is all the way damn up. Here, let's amp this shit up a little bit. Effects, we'll turn it down. Music, we'll turn it down a bit. Look, let's actually go even a little bit more wild. You know what? We're going fucking wild today. Because, guess what? Armand, he's a soft-spoken kind of guy. It's hard to hear him. Alright. There we go. Now, hopefully he isn't actually, like, a booming god now. 
All right, let's see. About the Thieves Guild. What do you want to know? All right, that's okay. That's all right. I'm down with that. What do you think? All right, what if I do kill someone? Breaking any of the three rules means expulsion from the Thieves Guild. If you commit murder, you must pay the blood price to rejoin the guild. Oh, shit. What is the blood, blood price? Blood price is for each person slain. You can pay any of the guild doyen. Oh. Wait, what? You can just kill anyone if you have enough money? Huh. <laughs> I don't know about that, so... You can put a value on a person's life, apparently. All right. Uh, let's ask about the Gray Fox. He's been around forever. It must be 300 years or more since he took charge. I'm not sure he's even human. Huh. Okay, let's ask about Hieronymus Lex. He's a captain of the Imperial Watch. He is pursuing a personal vendetta against the Thieves' Guild and the Gray Fox. Yeah, what a Two name. years ago, I made a fool out of him when he tried to arrest me. Lex has never forgotten it. Oh, look, he's he got so happy about that that he's woken up. Oh, look, we can ask about the Gray Fox again. Well, let's try. All Thieves' Guild members have sworn loyalty to him. If there is such a thing as a Guildmaster, he's it. Huh, okay. Let's see. Oh, these are just general uh, conversation topics now. All right, let's uh, ask about paying off fines and bounty. I guess this is like what we could do. This is, he'll be like, you don't have a bounty right now. You can pay your fines to the guards, serve your time, or pay me half, and I'll fix them all. Yeah, pay me half. Oh, okay. I'll work out my problems on my own. It's your prison sentence, not mine. All right, let's see. We can ask about the profit. Rumors. Let's do rumors. If you go to the fighting chance, make sure to speak with Rosan about repairing armor. Okay. Let's see. Sur sources of information. The best source of information are the beggars. Their eyes and ears seem to be everywhere. However, be prepared to spend a little coin. They won't tell you anything for free. At least not anything true. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, we can get some jobs. Steve Steel jobs. Jobs? We're thieves, not masons or scribes. Look, you're on your own as a thief. Go find a likely-looking house. <laughs> case the joint to see when the owner is gone. When he leaves, you break in and steal some stuff. You don't need special permission or orders to do that. However, you will find that you can only sell stolen property to one of our guild fences. Most other merchants won't take hot merchandise. All right. So we all work alone. By the way, I love how he's like, jobs, come on, we're in the Thieves Guild. Meanwhile, in fucking Skyrim land, yeah, you just got to do like a hundred bazillion of each job type in order to finally become like the super guild master of all time, right? Good lord. Man, honestly, I did all of it. It, it was ridiculous, but hey, it, it, was, it was pretty fun. I like doing it. All right, so we all work alone. Well, sometimes the guild gets a special commission, you know. Guaranteed pay to acquire certain items for special clients. You should check in with your doyen every once in a while to see if there are any commission jobs available. Okay, who's my doyen? Can we ask about this again? You need more experience before I can use you on a commission job. Ongar tells me that you haven't turned in much loot yet. Where? Who is Ongar? you've contributed enough to the guild coffers by selling stolen items to Ongar, I might have something for you. Come back then. Okay, okay. Jeez. Oh, look. Amount fence two gold. Who did we fence to? Huh. Oh, yeah. We found, like, a really, like, a 50 gold fence somewhere, didn't we? Yeah. All right. Sure. Let's see. Can we... We can't ask about any fences, though, can you we? You need more experience before I can use you on a commission job. Yeah, Wait. yeah, yeah. Okay. We know all about that. All right. Shadow Hyde. Where is Ongar? Oh, man. Look, we got... We've joined the Thieves' Guild and all that shit, but now we don't know who the hell we're even looking for. All right, Methrodel. What? How do you feel about me having just smoked your fucking ass? You know, I rumor? understand old Dove and Aaron can still teach a bit about alteration. Okay, okay. All right, see ya, Methrodel. My Take gosh. Methrodel is actually like a booming god. It's got to be said. Holy crap. Let's turn it down a smidge. Good lord. What have we done? There we go. Huh. All right. Mm. Let's F5 this again, and let's see. Oh, maybe he's in here. Oh, no, we can't go in there. All right. Well, geez, where is this guy? Maybe if we can, uh, can we track this? Armand told me that he won't have any commission jobs for me until I sell more stolen property to on the fence. 
I'll need about 50 gold worth of stolen goods before he will trust me sufficiently. All right, now where is this? Wow, he's way up in Bruma land. Okay. Well, we do have some stolen stuff on us. Do we want to head up to Bruma just yet, or do we want to do some uh, city quests? Oh, shit, we, have, we could sell off our steel helmet. But you know what? I'd rather not. Look, we've got a potion of grounding. Yeah, all this stuff. We've got a few stolen things here, I think. Eh, torch, silver goblet. I think most of them were actually, uh, what do you call them? Because if you'll remember, we actually put off stealing a lot of things until we actually got this far in the Thieves' Guild. But hey, now the world is our freaking oyster. Huh? Isn't that great? Let's see. Anything respawned in here? Wow, yeah, I think so. Huh, already. We didn't even go that damn far. We didn't do that much, I don't think. All right. Let's see. Let's do some of these uh, old-ass quests that we have had for a long time now. Let's see, all the way down here. No, we don't want to do all these, because these are tied to the uh, places where we want to stay. We're going to probably start doing them around 12. Oh, look, here we go. Yeah, go fish. This is like the first real-ass uh, quest that we have gotten. Right, looking to acquire 12 Rumer Slaughterfish Scales to sell to a customer. He's asked me to do the legwork, as he's been injured and can't handle the difficult task. The Rumer Slaughterfish is a special breed of slaughterfish, that can only be found in Lake Rumere, directly north of Way. Yeah, one of you all in the comments, or maybe multiple ones of you all, um, general viewers have told me, hey, yeah, these aren't like generic slaughterfish scales. I'm still stuck in the Morrowind mindset. So we're, we're just gonna fast travel on up here and go killing some fish. We're gonna go fishing big time. We're gonna look for a little, some little dudes and just smash them with our sword. Having a grand old time. Here, we should probably wait until it's daylight. That way, you know, already underwater, it's hard as hell to see. So let's wait for about uh, seven hours. There we go. That seems good. That seems reasonable. Maybe we can send Scampy in for a swim. Do you think Scampy can cast fire underwater? I don't know. Maybe, I guess it is magical fire. We could probably do it ourselves, huh? Magical fire? Why the hell not? I mean, it's not purple, but you get the idea. Let's see. Let's actually check our current level sitch. Oh yeah, we're completely fresh. We don't have a single uh, level to our name. Here, should, maybe we should actually use blunt weapons, since we are so far uh, behind in levels right now. Yeah, let's actually just whip out our, our axe here and get some blunt going on. There we go. Let's see. Oh, look at this. It's a nice little dock thing. Did we ever actually come on out over to this? I don't freaking... Oh, look! <laughs> the first kill! The first fresh fish of the day, a young Rumer slaughterfish. Oh, check it out. Look, its eyes are very weird and creepy. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this thing! Oh man, it's like it's actually swimming in the air. It's an air fish. Oh look, it's got something kind of stuck in it there. Is that like a fin? Oh yeah, it's got like an antenna at the top. Weird. Look at this. Remember before we saw one that was beach? Oh! Oh, and it was flipping like that. Oh god. There we go. I think we've activated it. Well, hasta la vista, baby. Ugh, there we go. I'm a fisherman today. Holy shit, it's got a lot of health. Oh my gosh, and it sounds disgusting. Oh, gosh. Oh, my good God. We're like a... What do you call this? Like a butcher, except for fish. A fishmonger? Is that what you call it? I don't know. Good Lord, we've got like our fishing cleaver. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's... Oh, no, it's becoming a ground fish, too. Jeez. Man, these fish have got a lot of blood in them. It's got to be said. Oh, jeez, a peat. Man, are there like any others out here beached? Because this would be pretty good. Because actually, as it turns out... These things are hard as shit to kill. Oh my god. Imagine us when we go inside the actual water and try to face down some of these guys. This ain't gonna be easy. Hopefully we can get, like, multiple ones. Let's see, is it worth it for us to just... kind of use power attacks? Are power attacks more DPS or are they more for burst? It feels like they're more for burst. And just, like, spamming light attacks is better for DPS. Let's see, do we have any restore fatigue shit on us? Because... We're actually using up a shitload of fatigue. I mean, we have one. Eh, we'll save it. We'll save it. We'll just chop away at this dude. Man, this is a young one. I hate to see, like, an ancient elder eldritch god slaughterfish. Wow. We finally got one. How many did we need? Twelve? Was it twelve? Gosh, look, we have so many fucking quests. Yeah, twelve of them. Oh my good god. All right. My gosh. Look, we almost broke our axe just smashing a fish! Jeez! Let's scroll down here and repair up. My gosh. 
These fish are out of control. No wonder this guy wants scales. He doesn't even want the scales, does he? I bet he wants his, like, proof of the kill, you know? Come back with a bounty. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Speaking of damn, can't even get up the dock, huh? Any good stuff in this boat? Any other goodies around here? Doesn't look like it. Looks like we're in a goodie-free zone, unfortunately enough. All right, let's grab this Nurn root. Yoink! There we go. All right, let's see. I guess this is, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is it. We're just gonna dive on in here, I suppose. Can we, like, bait them out to make them swim? Can we make the fishes swim like us on the surface? Let's see. We can do our special fish detection uh, observation deck. Let's see. Do you spy any fishes? I'm kind of afraid to just swim out there and not be able to recover very easily. Huh, I don't see any. Yeah, I actually don't see any fucking fish at all. All right, let's just go. Oh, shit! Look! Another one! Or is this the same one? Yeah, it's the same one. Damn you. Damn you to hell. All right. Shit, I guess we're just gonna have to bait it. All right. Come on, fish! Look at me! I'm a sexy man! It's like a reverse mermaid thing. I'm just like some sexy dark elf uh, going for a sweet-ass swim. Oh, my gosh. Maybe I should just, like, start farting and pooping in here and just really get them worked up. Really get them excited to come out and start nibbling away. No? Oh my gosh, are they all dead? Where are these fish? Holy shit, alright, no fish today. Should we go and look around over here? Maybe there's some over here. Just beached. Look, what is this? Ooh, what is this? Is this a rock? This must be some kind of rock. <laughs> Good lord. Man, we're having all sorts of adventures out here in Lake Rumere. Whoa, a rock. A real ass fucking rock right in the middle of a fucking lake. Who would have ever thought? Ah, oh, Cyrodiil is full of wonders and treasures galore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where are these guys? Look, there's even a mud crab, but no fish. Where are the fish? Fish, where are you? Good lord. Let's see, do you see any? Or is it just this damn infernal crab? Here, let's wipe out this crab. The combat music isn't going to be very conducive to us uh, doing fish detection. Look at this crab! Is died so speedily compared to the actual fish. Wow. All right. Let's see. We should probably repair up because we're not going to be able to repair mid combat with a fish, are we? Oh my gosh. Is this whole video just going to be us fighting fish? Good lord. We need to remember to summon Scampy next time for the extra damage because holy wackadoo. These fish, they mean business. Oh my gosh. Let's see. I mean, in saying these fish. We've only encountered one entire fish this whole damn time. Good lord, where have they all gone? Maybe maybe there's like a competitor out here. There's like a competing fisherman. Oh my gosh, just some other g adventurer swimming around in full metal armor, just slapping fish with a big old claymore, having one hell of a time collecting their scales, finding out the secrets of Lake Rumere. Oh my gosh, could you imagine that? God, we would have to beat the crap out of them and just steal them all. I mean, okay, we wouldn't beat the crap out of them. We would just steal them. We're in the Thieves Guild now. We can't just kill people willy-nilly. We, we've given that up until we join the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> One of these days when we join that, oh, man, all that uh, business is going straight out the fucking window, isn't it? Jeez. Ironically, isn't it uh, the case that, like, the the final reward, the, uh, the Mask of the Gray Fox or whatever, is actually really good? If you're in the Dark Brotherhood, because it helps with crimes and stuff. Something along those lines. I'm not too familiar with that. I never actually did it all. But I, I have read about it. Look at this. Look. We may not have found a fish, but we have found a crappy pearl. You know what? Excellent. Let's see. Ugh, gosh. There are just no fish out here at all. Jeez, we might be more likely to get some Shadow Banish wine from this place. Remember that? We gotta get some wine? Maybe we'll do that too. Oh my gosh, just all sorts of stuff we can get up to out here. All right, Let's see, taking this crab meat, boom, there you go. Anything inside these barrels? No, all the fish already jumped out and escaped. Good lord, where did all the fish go? This is messed up, dude. There's no fish in this entire lake. Even the one that we found wasn't actually in the lake. For some reason, they're just running aboard. Oh man, oh shit, look at this, a jewelry box. A brass pearl ring. And a strong potion of sea stride. A strong potion of healing. Alright, sure, don't mind if I do. Look, and another Nurn root. Yoink. 
All right. Gosh, are there any fish under here? I don't think so. Hello? Any fish? No, I don't... They're, they don't want to come out and fight. None of these fish are interested in tangoing. Good lord. Let's bring up our map again. Maybe there's a more uh, illustrious location we can scrounge around. Let's see. Lake Rumer does go down pretty far south. Here, let's go back to Way. Are we? Pretty sure it's Way. All right. Let's head on down there and travel southward. Hi, Prior Mabel. Hope you don't mind. I'm, I'm going fishing. I would take you along, but geez, these fish are pretty mighty. Some pretty mighty-ass fish. They might tear you apart. Let's see. Are there any beached fish? No, it doesn't look like it. We'll just take some of this sweet herb. Oh, man. Get that fragrant branch of Yori, you know what I'm saying? Damn. All right, let's check this shit out. Let's see. Can we do our fish detection? I'm not picking up any fish. Oh, but there is some clam. There are some clams down there. All right, maybe maybe the draw distance isn't high enough. Let's just go down here and grab some uh, pearls. At the very least, I guess we're going to get rich off of pearls or something. Because, you know, these flawed pearls, oh my gosh, they're so valuable. <laughs> they're so valuable at two gold per uh, 0.1 units of weight. Oh my gosh. What a circus of value. Jeez. Man, there are just no fish in this entire lake. What's going on? Oh, this ain't good. Look, we're just going right out into the middle of this place. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Look, can we actually adjust our camera to... Oh my gosh. Oh god. Oh epilepsy warning good lord holy shit okay yeah we <laughs> we are doing that jeez that was bad I wasn't a fan of that all right let's see any anybody down here any fishes jeez there are no fish in this entire lake have we just like squandered our opportunity have all the fishes gone where have they gone my gosh look already there's the waterfront we're out in the middle of this lake looking for fish and there's none here jeez Man, this is just like normal fishing. Good lord, what's the point of doing combat fishing when normal fishing sh seems just as quick? Good god, man. All right. This may end up being like the kind of quest that we just check on every time we come by the lake. We'll just stroll right through there and see if any of them come and get us. In the meanwhile, hey, you know what? Let's check out Do's Not Cave. Zonot Cave. Okay, yeah, sure. What do we got? Any uh, cheap wine? Okay. We'll take some carrots, though. We need to be picking up, uh, as was suggested by viewers like you. Oh, shit. Oh, nah. We, we need to be picking up more of this stuff for when we want to level up our alchemy. More of these foodstuffs, you know? Hey, I think it's a great idea. So you know what? We're going to freaking do it. All right, let's quick save here, and let's mark this. That way I don't forget. Let's see. Done. Boom. There you go. Awesome. We'll quick save here and head on inside. Who knows? Maybe they'll be fishing this. Wouldn't that be wild? Of course, they won't be Rumerian fish. Oh my gosh, you like that Rumerian? Because <laughs> they're from Lake Rumer. Oh my gosh, call me a wordsmith. Holy crap. Look out, Shakespeare. Here comes Schnubspear. Hmm, that sounds a little fucked up. <laughs> All right, what's inside here? Apparently, it's... <gasps> oh man, there's a lot of fog in here. It's like Silent Hill. Oh, and gigantic logs. Ooh, we should save that log. We can actually use that to fight off whoever this is. Let's get ready with old Scampy as well. Let's quick save here. Can we jump this? Huh! Oh, yes! Excellent. Oh my gosh, look, this is the ultimate trap. Oh my gosh, we're sowing the seeds of destruction. Look out, you foul necromantic overlord. Or perhaps Bandito. Bandito Supremo. I'm ready to mess you up big time. Oh, look! There they are. Hmm. Oh man, they even encouraged the uh, running gun method. Are these dudes actually evil? I mean, they look like bandits, don't they? Okay, they're definitely talking like bandits, right? Saying like, oh, who's there? Who's there? That's how you know someone's a bandit. If they ever ask, hey, who's out there? I think I can hear someone lurking around. Only bandits ever say that. <laughs> Surprise! Oh, okay. Shit. All right, let's see. Gosh, I'm, I'm getting excited here. I forgot that I actually rebound the uh, Paralyze, which is actually great. We're going to need to make use of that. All right. Let's see if we can't... How close can we get to these dudes? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's close enough. 
Let's see. Send Scampy out. Oh, man, that one's got a summon as well. All right, excellent. Oh, that guy has, like, a fiery sword. Oh, my gosh. Who are these people? They've got some enchanted stuff. Are we actually at the level now where we're fighting people with enchanted goods? Oh, gosh. Scampy, defense. Hold up. You got fire. I don't give a crap about fire damage. Ooh. Ooh, but I do give a crap about just your big axe. All right, here we go. Nice. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> eat it. <laughs> oh, oh, man, she's talking. Oh, she's up there. I see. All right. Oh, gosh. Is she going to jump down here and do like a plunging attack on me? All right, Scampy, you know what to do. Get him. Look, I'm going to use this as cover. Scampy, mess up that other summoner. There you go. Oh, good job, Scampy. Now, let's hope that this dude doesn't fire away at me. Oh, he's hitting his own friend. What an idiot. Oh, he almost hit me. Woo, there we go. Oh, too fast, too furious. Look at Scampy. Straight up detecting this sorcerer up there. All right, let's quick save. Good Lord, look at this. Oh, my gosh. I think it's Christmas, baby. Let's loot some of that. Weak poison of sickness? Sure. Uh, what's this? Iron arrow? Sure, we'll take that. Steel bow, yeah, we need everything. We need all the money we can get. Oh my gosh, it's time to win it big time, baby. Let's see. Anybody else up there? I think it's just her. Or else we would have heard him by now, just like screaming bloody murder. My gosh, that tactic with the log. Impeccable, honestly. I oh! Oh shit, it's a dog. Oh man, this is fucked up. <laughs> Why? Why always just the dogs? Oh gosh. Oh man. There we go. Gosh, did she jump down? That's what I'm worried about, that she's just gonna jump down and do a big-time backstab assassin maneuver on us. Oh, shit. Look, Scampy has detected some foul name. Oh, it's her! I think it's her. Another Scampy. There you go. Scampy, block him off. Oh, shit. Okay, there you go. Yeah, awesome. All right, let's see. Where is she? Oh, whoop. Oh, she's still pissed as shit. All right, let's see if we can't run in and just let's do some sweet-ass maneuvers. Ugh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's get it over with. That's what I'm- Oh, God! She's gonna get it over with for sure! Uh, uh. Oh, good God. This is not good cover at all. Oh, God! Scampy, get her! Scampy, oh my God, you're dumb. Oh, God! All right. Jeez, we're both dumb, Scampy. We're both dumb. All right, let's just run up on her and smash her head in. Here we go. Woo! There we go. All right, Scampy, get her. Yeah, try and hit me with your dagger. <laughs> Man, good job, Scampy. You fucking decked her big time. All right, there we go. No, no, don't give me the sad music. That was a good thing that just happened. All right, let's see. Um, hmm. These things are getting pretty heavy now. <laughs> All things considered. All right, let's actually repair up. See if we can't get those nice endurance uh, levels going, right? There we go. Repair hammer. Oh, my gosh, beautiful. We're actually using up some of our repair hammers, finally. Good lord, we were accumulating such a massive stockpile. There we go. Huh. Let's see. Is that like a full clear? Maybe. Let's wait here for an hour. Heal up. And we'll whip out the old torch. See what we can see. Uh, some tongs. Don't mind if I do. And wheat grain. I guess we'll take it. We're a little weighed down, but you know what? Maybe we'll actually drop some crap here. Let's see. What do we have that's heavy as hell? Steel bow? We don't really need to carry around a steel bow, do we? It's not even that valuable, is it? Look. Boom. There you go. We don't need it for now. This, um... Hmm. Iron dagger is only three weight. And, uh, when I was looking up stuff about how enchanting works exactly, looking up the ins and outs of enchanting, there's actually merit to, uh, holding on to these, like, crappy weapons if you just want to use them to apply an effect. Because they weigh so little, and there's... I, as far as I could tell... There's no sort of enchanting capacity limitation at, like how there is in Morrowind Land. So there is a benefit to just having some iron daggers that you swap to to apply effects. Like perhaps we want to paralyze someone real quick, just swap to an easy-ass iron dagger, apply one second of paralyze, and swap back to our killing weapon. Oh look, her dagger was actually made of silver. Dope. All right. Let's see. Nothing in there. I think... I guess we already looted that. Man, look at her crotch. Just out there. All right. Let's see. Anything else here? Eh, we, eh, we'll take these and just repair them up real quick. There we go. That's a good idea. Scroll all the way down here again. Let's see. 
There we go. And we'll drop her iron bow. All right, good. And should we drop some of this stuff as well? Yeah, the, these things are very uh, crappy when it comes to value, aren't they? Yeah, the Curus is too. Yeah, not great. Boots, surprisingly valuable. Yeah, we'll just leave those there. If uh, we do need, if, if we need more Woot Loots on our way out, we'll just pick them up. No big deal. Excellent. All right. Let's head on up here. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought that was another trap. But it was just some strangely positioned uh, looking like part of the cave. Weird. All right, let's go. Oh gosh. My old enemy. Oh god. There we go. Whew, gotcha. Oh, 25 gold. Wow, not half bad. Wow, we found uh, less in, ch in chests with uh, higher locks. All right. There we go. Some of this stuff. A pewter knife. Some bone meal. All right. Man, this person died with a sword next to a big old barrel. Man, I wonder if they knew that they were in a cave with just like a rotting corpse. Like a corpse that has rotted so much that, hey, it's just a skeleton now. Good lord. You never notice any corpses in Old Oblivion Land that are... Well, <laughs> I guess you do. But you hardly ever notice any corpses that are in the midst of rotting. They're either skeletons or, um, well, you know, just dead-ass people. But, you know what? Hey, all the corpses that are kind of rotting, they're zombos. Honestly, they're all zombos. All right, gosh, we need another torch. Unfortunately, you can't bind all the torches to just one key and just have them going like crazy. No siree. All right, look at this. A big sack of rice. Huh, good. All right, and what's this? Some torches. There we go. Speaking of torches. Jeez, just topping off our supply there. Let's see, some Cairn Bolette. There we go. Excellent. Is this the end? It looks like a... Oh, no, there's another uh, little area over there. Look at this. An easy chest. Don't mind if I do. Boom. There we go. Excellent. A uh, lockpick and some gold. Sure thing. Anything in here? No, looks like uh, just a place to rest. You know what? I don't blame them. Here, let's take all these as well. Nice. Just one unit of weight for five corn. Wow. What a bunch of value that is. A lot, actually. It's a lot of value. All right, let's quick save again. Let's see. Anybody else the heck out here? Wooden door to Zonot Main Cavern. All right, let's roll up in here. Let's go kick some more ass. Hell yeah. Who else is in here? Look. Also, we have a fantastic door here for us to use. Oh, look. I don't know if you can make it out, but there is actually a creeping man over there in the distance. But these doors are fantastic for us to use our door tactic. You know, where we just do like a hook, line, and sinker and just ambush them on the other damn side. Look at this. We're developing all these fantastic tactics for taking dudes out. Holy crap. Call me Sam Fisher. Call me uh, Big Boss. Here I go. Look at me. Jeez, I'm Pete. All right. Let's see. Can we pull this guy over? Can we just do a nice little pull? I don't think so. Let's just kind of lurk up here. Maybe he'll see us. It looks like he has some sort of archery equipment. So he'll try and pelt us. We're definitely going to make use of the door. Hello. Oh, is this the last Who's guy? That? Maybe we just need to... Yeah, let's just run up huh? on this guy as soon as he sees us. Here we go. Yeah, that's right. I'm here to get you. Uh-oh. He might not actually be the last... Oh, gosh. He's got one hell of a scary battle cry. Bandit Bowman. There we go. Yeah, we'll just lay into him here. Oh, look, yeah, pull out the dagger. Yeah, try and kill me with your dagger, you idiot. <laughs> there we go. Jeez, what a dumb guy. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, gosh. He used our own maneuver. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh jeez. Oh, God, man, he's pretty powerful, all things considered. All right, we're going to need to get Scampy up, because he might just outdo us, because he's got so much health. There we go. At least he's not using his arrows anymore. That's good. There we go. Yeah, Scampy, get him from behind. Oh, excellent, excellent. All right, silver arrows and... <coughs> Jeez, silver arrows and a silver bow. Jeez. All right, leather boots as well. Good for taking. I guess we'll take an iron arrow as well. Why the heck not? All right, let's quick save. Now, there is actually another dude over there lurking in the shadows. Can we rest here? Yes, we can. Wow, right over here. Man, good thing people in Cyrodiil are just dumb as hell. Honestly, everyone in Tamriel, dumb as hell. They can never tell when some sort of sneak thief assassin is just lurking around in the shadows. Oh my gosh, gullible as hell, I tell you. 
All right, let's quick save and see if we can't maneuver on up here and just scare the crap out of them. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. She's loaded. Oh, my gosh. She's buff as hell. Scampy, you know what to do, baby. Oh, yes. Tanker. There we go. Look at her stupid little hat. Oh, my gosh. But also look at her gigantic, mighty ass. Whoa. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. Oh, God. Scampy is missing big time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. The power. The strength. It's overwhelming. Oh, my God. All right. Let's see. There we go. Nice. Oh, man. Look. Scampy laying down the combos. Jeez. And also Scampy laying down the friendly fire. Jeez. All right, Scampy. You redeemed yourself. But holy crap. Look at her armor. Oh, man. This must be the next tier for light armor. We've seen fur. We've seen leather. And now we're seeing chainmail. Hell yeah. Let's see. Let's take some of this. This is uh, it's pretty valuable stuff, huh? All right, we'll take all these as well. Look, we'll deposit some garbage on her. Let's see, what do we want to get rid of? I guess we don't need the silver bow. It's not that terribly valuable, is it? Hmm. Or do we have something else that we can ditch? We could ditch some of this food. I mean, that is an option. We do have a lot of crab meat. Hmm. Let's see, you know what? Yeah, crab meat. Gosh, it's just so heavy. Crab meat is just heavy as hell. Who needs that? Not me. I don't need any of that in my life. All right, let's ditch that as well. Let's see, we could get rid of the cuirass, I guess. But I'm more keen to get rid of this silver bow. We're doing it. All right, excellent. There we go. She only had an iron axe, though. Weird. All right, let's repair up. There we go. Getting all that good to go. Excellent. Fantastic. By the time we get out of here, maybe we can look around in the lake and see if any more fish have spawned in be pretty damn good. Alright, let's see. This cave is actually pretty damn big. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, wait. Actually, this <laughs> this is the end right here. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's see. Anything in this chest? Ah, uh, gold nugget. Uh, don't mind if I do. Alright, let's rest up for an hour. There we go. Heal up. Yeah, if we do go diving, we should rest up until it's at least daylight. That way it's easier to see. Alright, let's... Oh, God. Gotta have patience with these, huh? Oh, gosh. There was no patience. Huh, there we go. All right. Excellent. 18 gold. Nice. And what do we have in here? Oh, a silver dagger. All right. Some more of this. That. Oh, wow. 130 gold. All right. Not half bad. I don't mind. I'm down with that. Okay. Let's see. Anything else good in here? It doesn't look like it. I think that's a full ass clear. I think that is done, as they would say. Look at this. This guy actually has some little tails on the end of his fur cuirass. That's weird. Uh, it's like he just killed a whole bunch of squirrels and raccoons and stuff. Just thought like, you know what? I'll just line the bottom of my coat with their tails. That's a little weird. I don't know if that exactly gives you any extra protection, but uh, hey, you know what? I guess, uh, I guess there's worse things you could do. I mean, I don't know. Are there worse things you could do with their tail? Hmm. I don't know. It seems pretty odd. Pretty damn peculiar. Look at this weird-ass rock here just jutting out. Okay, that's, it's almost like it wants us to just jump on it. And that's exactly what we've fucking done. Damn. By the way, huge mushroom right there. Look at this. The size of this mushroom. Oh my gosh. You know what? We need to really stop commenting on the size of mushrooms when, uh, you know, we're playing Morrowind, literally, and there are mushrooms the size of buildings. <laughs> we really need to be uh, really considering just everything that we've seen. All right. Let's wait until it's daylight out, huh? Let's wait for about seven hours. And then we'll go inside. We'll take a nice dip in the lake and see, hey, maybe there's some dudes down in here that finally have scales for us. For this uh, fisherman who's ready to reward us with like, what, 50 gold, was it? <laughs> I mean, hey, you know what? We're, we're broke. We're poor as hell. I wouldn't mind having 50 gold right now. Truth be told. All right, let's see. Rumair Fish, where are you? Are you out here? Oh, gosh. I don't I don't think we're going to find any again. Let's see. Maybe we need to go on back up to the marker. Let's see. We'll just swim right into the middle and keep our ears open. We'll keep an ear to the ground for that telltale combat music. And hopefully, it's not like a super fish that's going to wipe us the hell out. 
Look at this. The draw distance popping in as, you know, we go back to this ruin that we've already seen forever ago. Good lord. Actually, have we seen this ruin? This might be a different ruin. Where the hell are we? No, oh, yeah. We've seen this one. Yeah, this one has like a gigantic, uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Alright. Excellent. Great. Let's see. Yeah, there's just no fish out here. No fish at all. Weird. Alright, let's see. Can we... A better angle, perhaps? No, I really don't see any freaking fish. I mean, granted, you know, if the, if the statue doesn't pop in... I mean, holy hell, how can we expect a fish to? Right? Alright, let's actually fast travel on up here. To way That way we, we can cut down the swim time by about half. Alright. Great. And we'll head right into this gigantic, massive... Uh, monstrous divide in the land <laughs> where clearly there are two cells at uh, at an edge right there. Two cells that need to be loaded up. Alright. Let's see. Any fish this time? Maybe there's a beached one perhaps? You know what? Maybe we should go over to this beach and look around. Or I keep saying beach, but it'd be just a shore, right? This isn't some kind of ocean or sea. What am I even talking about? Beaches. Jeez. Alright. You see any fish? Ooh, there's something. What is that? It's probably just a fucking rock. What is that right there? Yeah, that's... Fuck me, that's... <laughs> it's just a rock! It's just a rock! Alright. Good lord. There are just no fish! There are no fish here at all! Where have they all gone? What happened to the fish? Is this like a new crisis? Forget the Oblivion crisis. The slaughterfish crisis is a reality. The vanishment of the fish! Oh my gosh. There was a great battle at Lake Rumere. And oh my goodness, they found like the heart of fish, fish con. And oh my gosh, they touched it, they gave it a rub. And wouldn't you know it, all the fish got some kind of magical power and in like a final showdown. Ah! Oh gosh, what? Oh no, we started drowning. Oh my god. Oh gosh, I thought the magical powers of fish Lorcan came out to get me big time for making fun of it. But no. Oh, as it turns out, we were just drowning. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, you know, old fish Lorcan showed up. Oh my gosh, big battle at Lake Rumere, and wouldn't you know it, just out of nowhere, all of the fish disappeared. Where the hell did they go? I don't know, but rumor has it that perhaps there was just one more slaughterfish, one more Rumerian slaughterfish left in the world. Somewhere, some mysterious place. Where could it be? Well, I'll tell you where. It was on the shores over there, and we killed it. <laughs> we killed it, we slayed it. Oh my gosh, we didn't even get to ask it about the divine fish disease, in which you slowly become some sort of amphibious fish person. Oh my gosh, and you go to star in Guillermo del Toro's fish person number two, Electric Boogaloo. Oh my gosh. And this time, oh my gosh, it's all about a fish strip club. There's just a gigantic sweet-ass uh, strip club for slaughterfish. And holy crap. Oh my gosh, let me tell you, they're going to get the ladies left and right showing up there. Jeez. Oh my gosh, it's going to be beautiful, but also kind of stinky. Kind of stinky with all the fish. Good lord. Man, there are just no fish out here. Let no one say that I was not thorough. Oh look, there is one. Do you see him in the bottom right? Maybe you don't see him because he blends in so well. Let's go. Fish, I see you. Are you a Romarian? Please be- Oh, it's just a generic fish! It's just a generic slaughterfish. Look, we don't even need this one. Good lord. Look, it doesn't even want to fight. Oh yeah, okay. It, it just moves very slow. Alright. Jeez. Let's see, where is it? Is, is, is it still coming? <laughs> wow! It didn't even want to come over here. Man, maybe these fish are actually just incompetent. These fish are not meant for fighting. Oh my gosh, yes they are! Oh! Oh! Get away from me, fish! Oh, good lord! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my gosh, these fish are trouble. <laughs> oh god, and there's like a dog and a cat over there. <laughs> That's messed up. That's messed up. Alright, let's rest up here. Can we rest up, or are we... Yeah, we're too close to the damn fish. Look, now we're too close to a fish, and it's not even the right kind. Good lord, this is fucked up. What a fucked up quest this is. Good lord. This guy, no wonder he was having so much trouble getting all these... Scales, it wasn't because he couldn't fight them or fish them because he was too old. It was because he was too old to go looking for them. He was like, shit, man, I don't have that much time left. I'm The clock's ticking. I don't have... Oh, shit, look. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Could this be another blessing from the divine? 
Oh my gosh, praise Stendar. Could it be? Oh, it's just a generic ass slaughterfish. All right, well, we're gonna totally slaughter the crap out of it. Look at this. Getting that sweet, sweet XP. There we go. Yoink. Oh, and it gave us a fork. Okay, excellent. Good lord. Man, this, uh, I gotta say, this really sucks. <laughs> there are just no fish here. There are no damn fish. All right, let's see. Can we, did we repair up our, uh, our axe? Let's see. I was tempted to go check in on that Khajiit, but hey, no thanks. Oh my gosh, that was a little scary how it flashed my character's eyes right there. I don't know if you saw that. It was like a split second of just looking at my character's horrific face. And you know what? I pissed my pants a little bit. It scared me that bad. Oh my gosh, what a terrifying visage. My opponents truly are being intimidated in battle. Good lord. Are there just really no fish out here? Third time's the charm, right? This is our third time going on a fish a fish expedition here in Lake Rumer. Good lord. If there aren't any fish here, you know what? Hey, we're just gonna do like a quest at Shaden Hall or some shit. And like I said, we'll do some sort of loop around and we'll check out more stuff. You know, we'll just check back here in this lake every so often and see if, hey, maybe more fish have spawned in. You, know, you like that? You know, that's what fish do. They spawn. They, they don't, uh, that's what you call it. It's a, oh, it's a big spawning of fish. It's spawning season. Oh, geez. It's when all the horrific people who have made deals with the devil come out and they have a gigantic red cape flowing around. Oh, my gosh. Good Lord. Yeah, there are just no fish. There are no fish out here. This is a fish-free lake! Good lord! Can we tell this guy that there are just no fish out here? Too bad we can't just give him regular-ass scales. Let's see, we'll do one quick swim through here. Anybody? Any fish want to fight? No. Maybe we need to go to the exact marker. Maybe the the marker will is actually marking a fish right now. Maybe we've just been dumb as hell this whole damn time. And the marker is actually right on top of an entity. Look, we're, we might still be in the Morrowind mindset and not be realizing, hey, this marker is actually showing us exactly where a fish is. Maybe that's our damn problem. Wouldn't that be fucking dumb as hell if we had just skipped over like a gigantic nest of fish? A fish nest. All right, let's see. Let's see, how dumb are we? Good Lord. Oh my gosh, we're pretty damn dumb. Look at this. <laughs> oh man, that's bad. Oh, man, that is so not good. That is not a good thing at all. Man, we are dumb. We are just dumb as shit. Holy crap, how are we even alive? Good lord. Scampy, I'm gonna need you to actually do all the thinking as well for these quests. Frankly. Good lord, because I'm incapable of it. I need you to do the fighting, I need you to do the thinking, and hey, I'll just do the talking. I'll just talk about weird fish movies and fish strip clubs the whole damn time. Oh my gosh. Truly a great place to get some fish strips, huh? Oh, no, wait. Fish strips aren't a thing. <laughs> That's chicken strips. They call them fish sticks. Weird distinction, though. Weird distinction. We don't call them chicken sticks, do we? But we call them chicken strips. What is up with that? How bizarre. Man, it's amazing that anyone ever learns ling English in the first place. Let alone Linglish. Man, the most complex language of all. Scampy, where even are you, pal? Where even are you? Oh, God! Whoa! Oh, God, Scampy, you scared me. I thought you were some kind of mega slaughterfish. All right, here we go. Excellent. Oh, great. Scampy, that is really not how you got to do it, pal. Look. All right, confirmed. Scampy's fire magic does not do anything here. In fact, he might die when being confronted with water. Look, yeah, can't summon while in water. Scampy, can you... Let's just try and shove his ass in there. Scampy, go in! In, Scampy, go in! No? Jeez, okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Whoa! Did you see that? The slaughterfish was straight up doing a trick. Oh, God. Now it's doing a real trick, and that trick is kicking my ass in a major way. All right. Let's actually not fuck around here. These, these dudes mean business. All right, let's see. A battle axe of burning. Here we go. All right. Let's burn the crap out of this slaughterfish before it kills us. Good lord, I hate this. I can't even see where it is. Good god, can you see it? Because let me tell you, I sure shit cannot. Look, I'm just swinging at nothing. Alright, there we go. You can sort of see the, where it's fiery, making the, the water all boil and stuff when we hit it with our fiery battle axe. 
Look, now we can actually see its shadow. Excellent. All right, there we go. I feel like we only have one hit left. And then it's gonna really mess us up. Oh, gosh. This is a little fucking dangerous, I gotta say. Oh. Is that a power attack? That's a weird looking power attack. <laughs> Look at that, we're just like... So <laughs> That's the power attack, I'm holding it down. Man, the swimming power attacks are very strange, I gotta say. There we go. Ugh. Ugh, there you go. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Man, I can't believe we spent like half this video just going around looking for fish. When... <laughs> we didn't even really need to. Good lord. Alright, let's see. Come on, you jack and ape. Let's see. Ooh, let's soul trap him. Let's soul trap him. Is this soul trap? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, look, he's turned purple. Oh, wow. Excellent timing. All right. Great. Oh, excellent. Let's heal up again. One hour. Oh, there we go. Boom, baby. Excellent. Quick save as well. Look, and now we're tracking a brand new fish. Oh, this is good. This is very good. Oh, my gosh. If only we had known about these secrets long ago. Then we wouldn't look like such a damn jackass out here. All right, let's see. Oh, there it is. Another excellent fish to fight. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Feel it. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Man, good thing they aren't very... They're, they're actually pretty damn bad at fighting us, aren't they? Oh, gosh. Except when we miss where they are. And we have just, like, no damn clue where they are. Oh, crap. Our thing actually ran out of juice. All right, here. Let's see. Can we charge it up again? Or does our other... Um, no, we, we stashed it away. Here, let's see if we can't charge it up with another fish. Let's see. Lesser, lesser. I guess these were lesser souls. All right, let's see. Oh, look, it'll give us 150 points. There we go. Not half bad. All right, where are you at, fish? Good lord. Oh, there it is. Excellent. You know what? Let's actually put magic on it. That way we can see where it is in the water. That's a good idea. There we go. Nice! Look, it can't even reach us now. We're just able to lay into it real easy. Oh, yeah. Ugh. There we go. Man, this is pretty dumb and ineffective. I think because we're, like, underwater, part of our swings get messed up, too. Ugh. At least we have this fiery enchant. Thank God for that. Ugh. All right. Great. <laughs> Jesus, this is only gonna take for fucking ever, isn't it? All right. Let's see. Who the hell else is around here? Maybe we can shoot them with, like, a bow and arrow or something. I don't know. Good lord. Let's see. Let's rest up again. Oh, no, we can't. This fish is actually pretty damn close, apparently. Let's see if we can't do a fish detection here. Ah, there it is. All right. Let's pull this fish. Uh, ah, there we go. Great. All right. Look, and now we've run out of fish juice again. Ugh. All right, let's charge our thing back up again, because holy crap. It's going to take too damn long if we just do this the uh, old-fashioned way, huh? Let's see, another petty soul. I guess these are petty ones, then. Because I don't remember us having another one. There we go. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Too bad we can't have, like, another help of, like, Scampy or some shit. Just to help us sort of do extra damage here. But Scampy is afraid of water, as it turns out. Scampy has really bad hydrophobia. Man, I thought I was bad, but no, Scampy is next level. Oh, there we go. Let's get ready to steal its soul. There we go. Excellent. Here, we should probably swap our weapon. We're running out of juice on this thing. There we go. Yeah, great. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, we're doing good. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh my god, it killed us! Wow, two shot! Okay, holy shit. Alright, these fish actually, um... Yeah, they're they're really tough. <laughs> As it turns out, these fish, they mean business. They mean some fucking business. Alright, let's pull this fish here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look, they aren't too tough actually in water, because we can sort of kite them around. But look, if they actually get a hit on us, oh my god, it's bad. It's real bad. There we go. Man, we're out of juice already in our axe. All right, let's go again. 
Let's see. Charge it back up here. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh, and just do some swings over there. Excellent. Look at this fish. It's like we're hitting it so badly it's starting to fly out of the water. Good lord. I wish I had that kind of power in real life. Just to be able to like do an uppercut on a fish. Just like go to one of those beautiful salmon rivers that you always see in like uh, nature documentaries where like Ah, oh, you'll see a bunch of fucking salmon jumping out of this river, doing some wild stuff, and oh, look, it's a damn bear there. Some sort of godless killing machine bear. And what's it doing? It's trying to grab all the salmon. Oh, look, who's that? Why? It's Lyle Schnub. He's come along, and he's uppercutting the salmon and smashing them out into the fucking moon. My god, what a glorious bastard. All right, good lord. How many of these do we have? Do we have, like, half of them? Because, my god, this has taken a while. Let's see, do we have at least half? Jeez, we've only got four! Oh my god, we've only got four of them! Holy shit! Oh my god, did we, we needed 12, didn't we? Oh my god, let's, let's check here real quick. Because this, oh my good god. 12 of them. Jesus, this is gonna take for fucking ever. Holy hell. You know what? We're just not going to do it for now. We're not going to do it. You know what these slaughterfish are great for? Hey! Training up. Getting training. Look at this. Look at how high we've gotten now with our, uh... Look. Yeah, we've we've gone up. We're like a third of the way there. You know what we're going to save these slaughterfish for? Hey, great idea. Next time, whenever we are like, Hey, maybe I'll test out and see if we can get a level. And you know, oh, level up the, the blade. Level up the blunt. Try and get some of that stuff going. That way we get a nice, big, fat, juicy level. Full of strength on each level up and full of endurance. Maybe we'll block them. Well, maybe not because, you know, they're actually powerful as hell. But uh, all that good stuff, hey, we'll do that and we'll come back and we'll slowly work on that in between videos. Because, hey, guess what? We've solved the mystery of uh, R Lake Rumere. We know how to handle everything going on here. As it turns out, we're just dumb as hell. So next time when we come back, I think we will head to the damn city. That's exactly where we're going to head. You know, maybe in between videos or something. Maybe not the next one, but uh, in the future. Nah, nah, we'll, we'll, we'll put it off for uh, training. I think that's actually such a fantastic idea. We'll use them for uh, combat training. Because, hey, they have so much health. And if we kite them properly, they aren't too bad. We fought way worse things. Alright, so next time when we come back. Holy crap, instead of doing this shit like some kind of a damn fool. What we're gonna do. Oh, look. Yeah, the potato snatcher. We could do that or we could do one of these other ones like... I've spoken to Kudai. Right, remember? Kudai of the Mages Guild in Breville. It seems that her friend Hanantir isn't missing after all, but trapped somewhere, and Kudai needs my help liberating him. Hmm. Or we could go and do Corruption and Conscious. Oh, re remember that? You know what? We'll start from the top and work our way down. Great idea, right? Because this potato snatcher business? Hmm. I don't know. That seems pretty tough. I feel like we're about to encounter some tough shit with a potato snatcher. Anyway... We'll do Corruption and Conscious next time we come back. We'll head on to Shaden Hall and do some fun stuff there. Look, we've tracked the quest. We're good to go. We're ready. But uh, if you would like to stick around, we'll do just a little bit of reading. You know, holy crap. Guess what? We're going to read A Life of Uriel Septim the Seventh. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Ah, oh, it's not too long. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see. A Short Life of Uriel Septim the Seventh. By Rufus Hain, 3rd Era, 368 to 389. Strategist and, consul and conciliator. The early decades of Emperor, of Emperor Uriel's life were marked by aggressive expansion and consolidation of imperial influence throughout the Empire, but especially in the East, in Morrowind and Black Marsh, where the Empire's power was limited, imperial culture was weak, and native customs and traditions were strong and staunchly opposed to assimilation. During this period, Uriel greatly benefited from the arcane support and shrewd counsel of his close advisor, the Imperial Battle Mage, Jaeger Thorn. This guy again! Jaeger Thorn! Damn you! You know what? In reading this, I bet, if not for the terrible relations between uh, Morrowind and Black Marsh, between, you know, the Argonians and the Dunmer, if not for, you know, the whole slavery thing, which is pretty fucked up, then they probably would have ended up allying against the Empire, huh? At some point or the other. Anyway, the story of Uriel's 
marriage to the princess, Kala Voria, is a less happy tale. Though she was a beautiful and charming woman, and greatly loved and admired by the people, the Empress was a deeply unpleasant, arrogant, ambitious, grasping woman. Huh, I didn't realize being ambitious was a bad thing. <laughs> she snared Uriel Septim with her feminine wiles. Jeez, did Alicia Otis write this? Uh, but Uriel Septim thereafter soon regretted his mistake and was repelled by her. They heartily detested one another and went out of their ways to hurt one another. Wow. Their children were the victims of this unhappy marriage. With his agile mind and vaunting ambition, Uriel soon outstripped his master in the balanced skills of threat and diplomacy. Uriel's success in co-opting House Lalu as an advanced guard of imperial culture and economic development in Morrowind is a noteworthy example. However, Uriel also grew in pride and self-assurance. Is it Jaegerthorn or Jaggerthorn? I, gosh, I, I've asked that before and someone has told me the answer. We're going to say Jagger, right? Jaggerthorn fed Uriel's pride and hiding behind the mask of an outpaced former master counselor, Tharn purchased the complete trust that led finally to Uriel's betrayal and imprisonment in oblivion, and Tharn's secret usurpation of the Imperial throne. Wow, okay, so that's like the plot of one of the past games, huh? Definitely sounds like it. Third Era, 389 to 399. Betrayed and imprisoned. Little is known of Uriel's experience while trapped in oblivion. He says he remembers nothing but an endless sequence of waking and sleeping nightmares. He says he believed himself to be dreaming and had no notion of passage of time. Publicly, he long claimed to have no memory of the dreams and nightmares of his imprisonment. But from time to time, during the interviews with the Emperor that formed the basis of this biography, he would relate details of nightmares he had, and would describe them as similar to the nightmares he had when he was imprisoned in oblivion. He seemed not so much unwilling as incapable of describing the experience. Holy shit. But it is clear that the experience changed him. In Third Era 389, he was a young man, full of pride, energy, and ambition. During the Restoration after his rescue and return to the throne, he was an old man, grave, patient, and cautious. He also became conservative and pessimistic, where the policies of his early life were markedly bold, even rash. Uriel accounts for this change as a reaction to and revulsion for the early teachings and counsel of Jagger Tharn. However, Uriel's exile in oblivion also clearly drained and wasted him in body and spirit, though his mind retained the shrewd cunning and flexibility of his youth. The story of Tharn's magical impersonation of the Emperor, the unmasking of Tharn's imposture by Queen Berenziah, and the roles played by King Edwire Rhea Silmain and her champion, hmm, in assembling the Staff of Chaos, defeat man, now they're really sounding like a Warhammer thing. Been reading up a little bit on Warhammer lore, by the way. Been playing a lot of Vermintide, too. It's very interesting stuff. Anyway, defeating the renegade Imperial battle mage Jagar Tharn and restoring Uriel to the throne is treated at length in Stern Gambog's... Gamboges? Excellent three-volume biography of Baron Zaya. Oh, it's only three volumes. Oh, we have all three, I guess. All right. There is no reason to recount that narrative here. Summarized briefly... Jagar Tharn's neglect and mismanagement of imperial affairs resulted in a steady decline in the empire's economic prosperity, allowed many petty lords and kings to challenge the authority of the empire, and permitted strong local rulers in the east and the west to indulge in open warfare over lands and sovereign rights. Third Era, 399-415 to Restoration, The Miracle of Peace, and Vardenfell. During the Restoration, Uriel Septim turned from the aggressive campaign of military intimidation and diplomatic accommodation 
of his early years and relied instead on clandestine manipulation of affairs behind the scenes, primarily through the agencies of the various branches of the Blades. A complete assessment of the methods and objectives of this period must wait until after the Emperor's death, when the voluminous diaries archived at his country estate may be opened to the public, and when the Blades no longer need to maintain secrecy to protect the identities of its agents. Two signal achievements of this period point to the eff efficacy of Uriel's subtle policies, the Miracle of Peace, also popularly known as the Warp in the West. Ah! The, there's a book by that name. We may have read it. I can't remember. That transformed the Iliac Bay region from an unruly assortment of warring, petty kingdoms into the well-ordered and peaceful modern counties of Hammerfell, Sentinel, Wayrest, and Orsinium, and the colonization of Vardenfell, presided over by the skillful machinations of King Helseth of Morrowind and Lady Baron Zaya, the Queen Mother, which brought Morrowind more closely into the sphere of imperial influence. Third Era 415 to 430, the Golden Peace, King Helseth's court, and the Nine in the East. Following the Miracle of Peace, best described in Per Vetterson's Daggerfall, A Modern History, the Empire entered a period of peace and prosperity, comparable to the early years of Uriel's reign, with the Imperial Heartland and West solidly integrated into the Empire, Uriel was able to turn his full attention to the East, to Morrowind. Oh, man. You think they knew when they wrote that bit? Must have. Exploiting conflicts at the heart of Morrowind's monolithic tribunal religion and the long-established Great House system of government, and taking advantage of the terrible threat that the corrupted divine beings at the heart of the tribunal religion presented to the growing colonies on Vardenfell, Uriel worked through shadowy agents of the Blades and through the court of King Helseth in Mornhold to shift the center of political power in Morrowind from the Great House Councils to Helseth's court and took advantage of the collapse of the Orthodox Tribunal cults to establish the Nine Divines as the dominant phase in Hlalu and Vardenfeld districts. Hasfat Antibolus's treatment, oh shit, of the uh, establishment of the Nine in the East in his four-volume Life and Times of the Nerverine is comprehensive. However, he fails to resolve the central mystery of this period. How much did Uriel know about the prophecies of the Nerverine? And how did he learn of their significance? Oh, man. Well, we know that he knew a lot of it. But how he knew? Well, we don't really fucking know, do we? The definitive resolution of this and other mysteries must await the future release of the Emperor's private papers. Or a relenting of the Blades' strict policies of secrecy concerning their agents. Huh. So nothing really else ever comes to light here. No one ever finds out, do they? Right? Or am I mistaken? Yeah, I guess not. Very interesting. Surprisingly, this tied a lot into the events of Morrowind, didn't it? Jeez and Pete. All right, good read, I think. Wow. All right, well, when next we come back, we're going to head on over to Shaden Hall Country and do uh, some stuff there with the guards who are apparently coming down a bit strong, aren't they? Jeez, what a bunch of a-holes. Maybe we'll go in there and rough them up. Or perhaps we'll get thrown in prison. <laughs> Who knows? Hey, you know what? We're a member of the Thieves Guild now. So prison, hey, ain't too bad. Maybe we can pay... No. We're going to prison. We're not paying it off. Hey, we don't have any money for that. We're not rich. I'll just go to jail. All right, till next time. Peace. <laughs>